During Thursday evening's preliminary competition at the Miss Louisiana pageant, the organization honored this year's Children Miracle Network champion. Eight-year-old Adam Leinbarger is this year's CMN champion, and he represents the entire state of Louisiana. He's a second grader from New Orleans. He was born with spina bifida and has been receiving treatment from a CMN hospital in New Orleans since he was born. He is paralyzed from the waist down, and he's been in a wheelchair since he was two years old. But he says that doesn't stop him. He's an energetic eight-year-old, and he has an outgoing personality, and he loves meeting new people. KNOE 8's Clay Osterley sat down with Adam today to get his take on the pageant and what it's like to be a champion. We're down here right now at the uh, Civic Center in downtown Monroe, and I'm here with um, Adam. You are the Children's Miracle Network champion, is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. All right, so tell me a little bit about that. You know, what does that mean to you this year? I mean, that's awesome, huh? Right. Well, well I, really, I really like being here tonight, and um, I really think this is a great opportunity for uh, the Spine Biffa. The, um, yeah, the, the, the Spine Biffa kids. Yeah. Yeah, well. And uh, do you know what the Miss America organization in Miss Louisiana does for the Children's Miracle Network? Well, they well they help them first of all, and then um and you know what? I I really I really think I'm gonna have fun at at the at at the, um, the thing, and I really think it'll be awesome. What are you gonna be doing tonight? Well, I'm gonna be uh well I was. I was, I was listening to one of the girls singing to me, and, and I'll be performing with some with one of the girls. I don't know. Now, are you excited for one of those girls to sing to you tonight? Uh, well, they already did. Oh, they already did? Yes. Okay, okay. So are you going to be uh, making a performance or an appearance on Saturday night as well? Um, I will. Yeah? So, um, well, let's see. What, uh, what is your favorite contestant? Well, I like all of them, but I have one special favorite one. Mm -hmm. um, Haley. Haley? Now, um, Haley's from St. Tammany Parish, right? Right, she is. All right. And what's your favorite thing about Haley? Well, Haley, I really like her. I really think she might win tonight. She might win. She's going to win tonight? She might. Now, is she doing talent tonight? Uh, she is. All right, great. Now, is she is she going to be singing? You know, saxophone. Saxophone. So, how cool would it be if she played saxophone with regard to you? Um, I think it would be great. And um, and uh, when um, when we were backstage, I went over there and saw her, and and she was playing, she was playing it to me. What? Yes. I'm really am serious. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I tell you what, Adam, it was so cool to meet you. It was an honor, man. Right, and you rock it up there on that stage tonight, okay? I will. Thanks so Thanks. much. All right, guys. And uh, the pageant starts tonight at 730, just like last night. This is the second round of preliminaries. And uh, Farrah, we'll see you in just a few minutes. Back. All right, Clay, thanks. Such an incredible little boy. And you can also pick your favorite contestant tonight. The second round of competition starts at 730. It's going to be at the Monroe Civic Center. Welcome back, everyone. With me now, the newly crowned Miss Louisiana, Hope Anderson. She's now a household name, which isn't a bad thing. We always need a great representative, and I think we have one this year. Hope, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Farah. I feel so privileged that you've squeezed me in your so busy schedule. Oh, gosh, anytime. <laughs> uh, well, um, we've heard a lot about Miss Louisiana and your winning and your platform and stuff, but I think another important aspect of the organization is the Children's Miracle Network. Tell me a little bit about your work with CMN. Sure. The Children's Miracle Network is the the national platform of Miss America. So as a Miss Louisiana, I will be representing the state and uh, raising money for Children's Miracle Network. We have four hospitals across the state that I will be very visible at, visiting these kids and raising funds for them for their medical treatments and, and medical research. And it will be an honor to do so. We had a very special guest with us last week at Miss Louisiana. He was there all week. His name was Adam Leinbarger, and he was the CMN champion for Louisiana. And so he spent the week with us. We got to interact with him, and he was a true inspiration to every girl that was there. It really put a name with a cause. 
and, uh, and gave us that extra push to continue to raise funds and really champion this cause. Well, I know he was a bit difficult in a fun way. <laughs> Hope wanted a picture with Adam because he was our superstar for the week. You've seen him on the show. That's right. Um, but he, he made an agreement with you. He did. Right before the top five walked out to hear the announcement of the next Miss Louisiana, which it was kind of a nerve-wracking moment, mm -hmm. you can imagine, uh, he, I walked up to him. He was in the wing, and I said, I want a picture with you when this thing's over with. And he looked up at me and said, I'll make a deal with you. If you win that crown, I'll give you a picture. So yeah, he put me right in my place. And, uh, <laughs> and you know the story, I, I actually ended up winning Miss Louisiana. So we got our picture and I was honored to do so. Yeah, he's such a wonderful, wonderful little guy. We spent some time with him, absolutely incredible. Yeah. And also another group of young ladies that are important to you, the Florida de Lee Princess Program. And you have four Florida de Lee Princesses. Yes, I had four young ladies who I was privileged to share the stage with Saturday night and Friday night in prelims, Megan, uh, Mary Beth, Laura Jane, and Jenna. And this is an incredible program because it really gives these kids exposure to the Miss Louisiana organization and we have an opportunity to serve as role models and, and, um, and show them what this organization is really about and that, that's community service and scholastics. So hopefully one day they'll all be Miss Louisiana. Well, such as Miss Louisiana Outstanding Teen, Justine Kerr was one of these Florida Princesses. Right. Yeah. And so it is an inspiring organization for sure. It is. Um, back to CMN, your goal is to raise how much for Miss America? I haven't set an amount yet, but my goal is to actually be the highest fundraiser uh, out of all the contestants at Miss America to be the, the top fundraiser. And here's why we need to get behind Miss Louisiana because she's going to set an amount which I'm sure is going to be 10, 25,000. Um, but she's going to be up there. But yeah. she's actually going to do something when she meets the goal and this is going to be interesting. What is your plan? Okay, my plan is once I meet my goal, which I will meet with my board and uh, and set that goal, I plan on commemorating it by going skydiving. So mm -hmm. kind of gutsy, not something that I would typically <laughs> do, but it's for the children. I think it's a great cause and I really want to to uh, raise as much money as possible. And I think people will make donations to see that. Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Miss Louisiana jump out of a plane? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think it's a wonderful cause and good luck. And keep us updated on your goal because we'd love Thank to support you. you in that endeavor. Thank you, Farah. Thanks. Thanks so much. Hope Anderson, Miss Louisiana 2011. We're so fortunate to have her as a representative. We're going to take a quick break and after that we'll have one last look at the forecast.